There's no. nothing like telling a story no. to the people of New York no. with Belvedere Castle at your back no. and the moon and the stars above you. It's, it's magical. No. I'm so thrilled. This is New York City, Central Park, the Delacour Theater. This is what I dreamed of when I was a kid. Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. This fall, the Public Theater will launch an 18-month renovation of the legendary Delacorte Theater in Central Park, the largest in its history, so that it can return as a more accessible theater for all in 2025. And I am here at the Delacorte for the one-night-only benefit called A Brief Intermission, where I caught up with many of the stars who have played the park. This is the last performance we're going to do in the Delacour before we close down for 18 months to do a complete renovation of the place. Uh, when we reopen in the summer of 2025, it's going to be absolutely gorgeously refreshed. This theater is at the center of New York City, both geographically and culturally. It's the place, because it's free, that everybody can come and sit shoulder to shoulder, no matter how much money you have or don't have. Wealth doesn't matter in here. What matters is to come together as a community, see these incredible productions, and by enjoying them together, feel like you're part of the same city. And that sense of creating a collective is really important to us. We are not only enjoying Freestyle Love Supreme, it's original cast that it's here, they have been together now for over two decades. Uh, but we are saying bye to the Delacorte, the way it looks today, and welcoming a new Delacorte 90 million dollars later. It will be accessible, it will be great for actors and for staff, and it will have a great experience for everyone who comes to a Delacorte for free every single year. It was really exciting. Actually, you know, it's funny. The first time I met Oscar Eustace many, many years ago was I was actually pitching him the Hamilton mixtape as a concert because it wasn't a show yet. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, could we maybe, if I ever finish writing this thing, could we premiere it at the Delacorte? Yeah. That was so, so I've always dreamed of performing here and the fact that I get to do it with my friends is really exciting. And the importance of the public theater, I don't mean a lot to you because of Hamilton and everything else, what this organization means to you. Yeah, well, even before I had any involvement yeah. with it, it's always been at the vanguard of American theater uh, from Hair to Free Shakespeare in the Park. I mean, Joe Papp's legacy is yeah. very much still with us. Um, but but just the shows, I mean, from Fun Home to Passing Strange to, it's such an incredible um, track record and an incredible place to nurture emerging artists. So I'm really um, proud to, to support them and, and perform in this show before they, in this venue before they renovate it. This is the best night ever. I mean, first of all, it's hot, which is for me a good thing. It's the summer, it's August, but it's bringing back a lot of memories for me. This is, I think, one of the most exciting things in New York, Shakespeare in the Park. Yeah. This theater is one of the most exciting things in New York. Yeah. Well, uh, the Delacorte, yeah, on the town, Shakespeare for free, uh, back in the day. Joe, Joe Pap! Yeah, yeah, we're still alive and kicking. Not only is it my favorite stage yep. and theater to perform in and on, but it's my favorite place to be a member of an audience witnessing theater. Yeah. Truly, my very favorite. Um, years ago, a photographer a friend of mine was doing a piece about New Yorkers in their favorite place in the city, yeah. and mine was on this, and it took a picture of me lying yeah. on the Delacorte stage, so I love it. Now, you've done a lot of shows here. What have you enjoyed the most about always coming back here to play at the Delacorte? The audience, yeah. The audience, yes. And it used to be, and I think it still maybe is, that you would be riding your bike in to the theater from either side of the park, and there would be people sitting on the yeah. benches saying, you know, be good tonight, you know, we waited all afternoon. So, or for overnight to see you in something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's incredible. I mean, the, the public theater, as a young actor growing up in the 80s, was the most important theater that one can aspire to as a New York actor. And and I, I was so lucky that Joseph Papp coached me when I was doing, he was doing the marathon of, of doing all of Shakespeare's plays and I was playing Puck. Yeah. And and he tried to coach me to help me fit in. And, uh, you know, we went through the whole thing, how to pronounce it, how to, yeah. you know, if, 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 if you feel the the tempest in your bones and, and all that, and, and he left, and then I went back to doing it my, my way. It's really exciting to be here. Uh, you know, it, it is something that's been long 
underway to, uh, you know, keep this beautiful, stunning, magical place going and to give it the time it needs to be, you know, uh, restored. And so it's really exciting to um, say goodbye and say hello at the same time because it's something so spectacular is about to happen here. Yeah. I, I love seeing plays in the park. Yeah. Um, we, yeah. we really love the public works yeah. project that happens at the end of the summer. We were here for the Tempest. My favorite was the Twelfth Night yeah. that uh, Sh Shana Tobe wrote the music yeah. for. Um, it really reminds you what amateur means from the heart. And my heart just bursts and soars and sings all at the same time when I see those public works projects. I love them. Yeah. What was the craziest memory of that summer for you? Um, I mean, like our just like being roommates with raccoons, the baby raccoons. It would like crawl onto the stage in the middle of it. Um, thunderstorms, heat wave. Yeah. But my favorite part was drinking champagne every night with Margaret Cullen and Lauren Ambrose. We shared a dressing room and the three of us just had a nightly ritual yeah. before we went off out of the park on home, yeah. I think nothing's better than theater under yeah. the stars and the elements and to be able to have that here in New York City with everybody pulling, it's kind of fun to sit back and chill out with everybody who really has come to enjoy themselves and do what theater's supposed to do, be for everybody. Yeah, everything, everything, everything is better outside. Yeah, yeah. Food tastes better outside. <laughs> Theater is better outside, huh? Interviews are better outside. Interviews are better outside. <laughs>